2019 has come and gone, and there were a lot of great films to choose from this previous year. Every film lover is going to make a list of their top 10, top 20, top 50, whatever. Top list of their favorite movies. I'm going to discuss my top 10 favorite films from the year 2019. So let's get it. Hi, I'm Lenny, and in this video, I'm going to discuss my top 10 favorite films from the year 2019. Coming in at number 10 and starting the list, we have Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Why is this on the list? It's a Star Wars film. This is the conclusion of the story of Kylo Ren, Rey, Finn, Poe Dameron, BB-8, those characters that we come to love within this new trilogy. Number nine on my list is Spider-Man Far From Home, the second outing for Tom Holland as Peter Parker Spider-Man on his own away from the Avenger films. I feel Spider-Man Far From Home is actually a better film than Spider-Man Homecoming. Number eight on my list is the film Blinded by the Light. This movie is amazing. This movie is different. You can consider it a musical, you can consider it a drama, a comedy, a dramedy. This brilliant movie contains the musical catalog of Bruce Springsteen. Well done, visually stunning, music is amazing, it's a great story, and it's a great story that all of us can relate to. Number seven on my list is the film Joker. Sure. Phoenix has done an amazing job within this film. I'm not going to be too surprised if and when Joaquin Phoenix does win an Oscar for this role. Number six on my list is It Chapter 2. It Chapter 2 tells the story of the Losers Club from the adult perspective. They have come back to Derry. Pennywise is still large and in charge. Oh, crap. It Chapter 2 is a good conclusion to the overall story of It. Coming in at number 5 on my list, Avengers Endgame. We've seen it. We all have seen it. Avengers Endgame is an amazing film. While not as strong as Avengers Infinity War, this is the great final piece to the massive and amazing and successful universe that Marvel created. Number four is Jordan Peele's Us. This movie is fantastic. This movie is amazing. Jordan Peele knocks it out of the park with this one. I believe that I like Us more than I did Get Out, and I like Get Out quite a lot. Jordan Peele is two for two when it comes to creating these movies. Number three is Doctor Sleep, the official sequel to the film The Shining. Now this is a great book by Stephen King and it is a great movie. This movie incorporates what people love from Stanley Kubrick's film version of The Shining and Stephen King's official novel, Dr. Sleep, the sequel to The Shining. Ewan McGregor is great as an adult Danny Torrance dealing with demons of his own and addiction. Great film great sequel to The Shining. So that leaves our number two spot and our number one spot. And this was actually very tough for me. Early on in the year, I would have called this pretty much a lock at a certain point. I thought I knew what my number one film was going to be. And number two and number one have been battling it out in my mind for a little bit here. Coming in at number two, is the film 1917. 1917 is directed by Sam Mendes. It takes place during the First World War. It is an amazing story. It is a cinematic marvel. It is a beautiful, beautiful film about a topic that is horrible and horrendous and dirty, but it is so well done. The score by Thomas Newman is unbelievable. The acting in this movie is great. The cinematography is beautiful. This film is amazing. It is a film that I believe everyone should experience in a theater. Check it out. See it. It is a great movie. It is worth the Golden Globe that it won. It's a late entry, but I think this is going to be a serious contender at the Oscars. And for me, it was so close, so close to being my favorite movie of this year. So what is my number one pick? What is my number one movie that I have seen 
that I enjoyed for 2019. And that film would be the movie Parasite. Parasite is my number one pick for the best film of 2019 for me that I have seen. It is a movie that I went into not knowing a thing about. I was completely oblivious to this film. I knew of the film, but I didn't know any of the trailers. I didn't read any of the articles. I didn't even know the genre of what it was. It's about trying to peg what genre it is and what it fits in would do disservice to this amazing film. I believe that you should see it. I believe that you should go in completely as blind and oblivious as to what this movie is about and just enjoy the ride that it takes you on. Just be willing to let yourself go and trust the film and trust the direction. Parasite, it is a unique entry into this year's slew of films and it's definitely one worth seeing. And that is why it is my number one. And because it's so damn good. It's such a good film. So that is my top 10 list of my 10 favorite films of 2019. If you do like movie list and you want to hear another perspective and a different point of view on it, my good friend Brian Rummel and fellow movie lover also did a top 10 films of 2019 on his channel. Definitely give it a check out. His last name is R-U-M-M-E-L and Brian spelled like B-R-I-A-N. And he's doing great things over on his channel at Brian Rummel. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see other videos like it, all you have to do is hit the YouTube logo down in the corner. You'll get a notification anytime I upload a new video. As always, I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your time. Thank you for allowing me to talk about these things that I'm passionate about. Thank you for lending me your ears. I greatly appreciate it. Please be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you soon.